Hi, welcome to another episode of Science Made Simple. I'm Farhat and I'm a science specialist here at the Big Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of solutions and suspensions. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 10. At 25 degrees, salt has a solubility of 360 grams per liter. What does that mean? That means if you have one liter of water, a maximum of 360 grams of salt can be dissolved into that one liter of water at 25 degrees Celsius. So we are looking at which of the following options that will produce a saturated salt solution without any excess salt when mixed. What does that mean? In this case, you have the maximum amount of the salt that is dissolved in the solvent and you do not want any extra salt to be left behind undissolved. So if you look at the options, we have different volumes of water. The trick is to convert all these different volumes of water to one liter and to find the corresponding amount of salt that is dissolved in that one liter of water. Let's take a look at option one. I have 180 grams of salt dissolved in 2,000 milliliters of water. That is equivalent to two liters of water. If I were to convert that to one liter of water, I have to just divide both values by two giving me 90 grams of salt dissolved in 1 litre of water. For option 2, I have 720 grams of salt dissolved in 500 ml of water. To convert this to 1 litre, I have to multiply both options by 2. That would give me an equivalent of 1,440 grams of salt dissolved in 1 litre of water for option 2. Let's take a look at option 3. Again, we have 500 ml of water. I have to multiply both values by 2, giving me 360 grams per litre. Let's look at option 4. 720 grams of salt dissolved in 3,000 milliliters of water, which is equivalent to 3 litres of water. That would give me an equivalent of 240 grams per litre of water. Now that we have converted the volumes of water to 1 litre, it is easier for us to compare the mass of salt that can dissolve in that 1 litre of water. Let's take a look at option number one. We have 90 grams of salt dissolved in one liter of water. Will that give us a saturated salt solution at 25 degrees Celsius? No, in fact, we need 360 grams of salt in one liter of water. So this option is out. What about option two? 1,440 grams of salt dissolved in one liter of water. Here, we can see that there's excess salt. In fact, only 360 grams of salt will dissolve in one liter of water at 25 degrees Celsius. So what will happen to all that extra salt? The extra salt here will remain undissolved. Is that what the question wants? No, the question wants a saturated solution without any excess salt. So this option is out. Let's take a look at option three. Option three shows us the maximum amount of salt that can dissolve at 25 degrees Celsius. This is in fact our answer. But let's just look at option four. When we dissolve 240 grams of salt in one liter of water, are we gonna get a saturated salt solution? No, in fact, this amount is insufficient. So this confirms our answer as option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!